Hello, I'm Chris, so this is Gross Models, and this is Building Your Own X-Wing from D'Agostini. This is part eight, issue number eight, uh, when things are starting to come together a little bit more. You can see, obviously, the the detail of the, the kit on the wing. Um, now, we're dealing with the what we did last time. Uh, the I can't remember now, it's the starboard wing, which I think is this top one here. It goes like that. Uh, We've got some interior detail on there, which I think is going to be covered up pretty much, although it might have a, an opening that covers, you can see some of it. We'll, we'll find out as we go on. Uh, in this issue, uh, we have uh, the internal wiring frame, external and internal wiring detail, wing details, uh, wing frame, not wiring, I keep reading wiring, wing, uh, so a metal frame piece for it, which is here. Uh, we've got some screws, obviously, as they always include. So far, so good with these, they're giving you the the screw pack and the screws you actually need this is XW03 it's the third time they've given us some screws uh, so we have um, a metal frame which is say aluminium or something I should think by the looks of it uh, we've got three four five little uh, plastic bits let's cut those open while I'm here get rid of the rubbish there we go a couple of fine bits a couple of big bits and obviously the screws uh, so let's have a flick through the magazine first as we as we tend to uh, we've got stuff about movie magic uh, big 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 studio scale kits that they were using there uh, we've got Hera from uh, Rebels and the Ghost the ship that they, they use got her blaster pistols and things like that and stealth fighter the Ghost again uh, and then we have the build instructions uh, this issue's main component is the outer section of the metal frame which braces the wing you started assembling in stage 7. You've also received screws which hold the frame in place and some more internal details to add to the underside of the top skin. So we've got trailing edge conduits, um, trailing edge wiring, that's where I see wiring, it, it, says, it says wiring, I obviously read that somewhere. Uh, outer wing frame, three screws and the leading edge wiring and I don't know what that is. Uh, so, assembling. All six small parts provided are added in this stage. That's nice. I like when they just give you what you're going to use, and you use it. That, that's the way it should be. Um, giving you bits and saying, keep these safe for the next 17 years, doesn't help me at all. I, I, I don't lose things, but um, uh, it looks like they're not giving you any spare screws this week, either, unless you only need two. I don't know. I would expect I'm going to use more than three of them, but there we go. Uh, right, so we're starting with that and the metal frame. Just the metal frame uh, is going on there. Funnily enough, that's quite obvious and convenient, and it goes all the way up to there. Uh, so some of these are blobs that it attaches to, and it looks like just two screws to hold it in place, which is probably enough. Let's just see. Yeah, there we go. They sort of pop in place over there. And obviously there's another bit's going to go on the bottom there. That's why that's shaped like that. Uh, so we have uh, put the metal frame in, matching the holes, firmly pressing it in place. Put one of the screws there and one of the screws there. So we're just going to use two screws in these two holes. They're obviously not very long screws because they're only going into a little bit of plastic so be careful not to over tighten them and cause problems down the line that's that move the third one which is obviously a spare over to the side that's that right take the trailing edge wiring which has angled ends right what we got we've got lots of bits here so we've got a big bit i don't know what that is that bit that bit and that bit Obviously they've only painted one side of each of these, so it's quite easy to see which one's which. Uh, right, that has angled edges. So that's the one we're talking about here. Uh, we're putting it, let's see, that way round. Ah, cross it in there, That's that makes sense to me. Although there's lots of holes, which holes am I using? Using the bottom of these holes. So that one, that one, and that one. 
make sure they line up. Well, one of them just popped on, so why are the other two not popping on as well? They sort of are. There we go. And that one as well. Cool. A little bit of detail that's probably going to get covered up, but there we go. Uh, that's that. Pushing the conduit on, press the wiring onto the pins. Take the trailing edge conduit. Is that. I don't know which one that is. Take it this way round. Right, hang about. Let's let's have a look because I've got two bits there. It's going to be the longer one of the two, I reckon. According to the picture, yes, because it's got the hole and and that bit goes that way round and goes in there like that. So again, just pops in place. And again, the middle one goes in, and the other two are a little bit more stubborn. There we go, cool, that's that one. Uh, I'll turn it around and basically do the same again with this one. Uh, that, that way, that, that way, that on there. Yep, exactly like what it says. Popping that in place again. I'm not sure how much of this is going to be covered, but we'll worry about that as and when. Uh, I will. I, I meant to do one before. I didn't get a chance because this this issue came along surprisingly quickly. So I haven't done the updates and modifications for the previous issue yet, or the previous two issues, uh, which is the R2 leg and things like that. So I will. I promise. I'll do an updates and modifications that will be a, an encompassing several issues. So that goes on there. Uh, the last bit, this big bit, goes over these two here uh, with those facing the oh, just obviously just about there it will really go one way around because the, the positioning of the holes so there we go we have that there cool the underside of the wing should now look like this this completes the assembly for this stage so yeah there we go that's what we have so far and um, the wings that's it's got not much weight to it, a little bit, because it's obviously got the metal frame in it now, which is quite quite cool. Um, that will be put aside. Uh, I'm not going to do any weathering or anything to that as yet, because it's obviously still... I don't know, it might be bits to go onto it. I don't know exactly how it's going to be going together, so I won't worry about it quite yet. Uh, so, yeah. We'll, we'll see. Uh, the, the updates and modifications video for this might be just from the last time so uh, see what see what comes when it comes and how it all fits together uh, next time uh, which I haven't got yet so it'll be a, a little wait for this one we have the uh, the sublight engine mounting and details which is quite cool that's going to be obviously so we're doing a wing at a time by the looks of it we started doing the cockpit because that's obviously where you need to start and then we've drifted over and done and wing uh, so uh, yeah that, that's it uh, thanks for watching. Hope you've been enjoying the, the build. I'll put this aside now with, with all of the other parts that I have building up. And um, yeah, stick around soon for, for the next continuing build. Um, obviously, I've got other builds going on as well. I'm still doing the, the Sazabi as an exclusive patron build. And uh, the Terminator, the, the other part work that I'm doing, uh, which I believe is out for delivery at the moment. So it could be here in the next few weeks uh, if you're following that build along then so keep your eye open for when that turns up uh, other than that other things will be starting and carrying on as they go so thanks for watching and i'll see you soon for more of more of the same again really so thank you and goodbye